The ocean may not seem scary to most, but the idea of jumping out of a boat in the middle of the sea has always terrified me. I don't have a fear of the wildlife in the sea or swimming, but I think it's because the ocean is so vast. Underwater photography has always fascinated me and taking a camera underwater is a very good excuse to overcome my fear. In the previous part of this video, I swam with dolphins and sea lions. So far, I've been in shallow water, but now I need to take the next step in facing my fear. Before the video begins, I just want to say a quick hello because it's been several weeks since I uploaded. I have been filming, but I just haven't had the chance to edit everything and I'm going to update you at the end of this video, but enjoy the underwater video. It's a fun one. I swim with mobular rays and sharks. Do I overcome my fear? Well, you'll have to find out. See you at the end of the video. We woke up an hour before sunrise to beautiful conditions. This was our second day with Alejandro, a local underwater photographer and guide. And we were soon joined by a pod of dolphins. Last time we tried to look for mobular rays, we were unsuccessful. Today, it didn't take Alejandro long before he spotted a big group. The mobular rays splash at the surface, but below there were hundreds. In the springtime, the currents change and plankton and nutrients come to the surface. The mobular rays time their mating season with this abundance of plankton and they congregate in their thousands. I'm so grateful to have been with Alejandro. Following him really helped me get these shots. I was really unsettled by all the open water. There was a short moment when I couldn't see Alejandro or the boat and I suddenly felt very alone and small. But I quickly spotted Alejandro and swam towards him. I've now realised what freaks me out is not seeing the ocean floor. The idea of vast depth and openness makes me feel very uneasy. Alejandro then received a call for humpback whales. The humpback whales have left the area and started their migration. 
So we were very lucky to see a pair. They look like they were juveniles. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I recently launched my products this year on my Squarespace website and I really wanted to incorporate my photos into my website and that was really easy to create. I customized the font, color and the overall layout and I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who has pre-ordered a calendar. I will be shipping them out very soon. If you'd like to give Squarespace a go, head to squarespace.com slash dannyconnorwild and you can save 10% off a new purchase of a website or a domain. It was time for the final mission. If you are someone who is afraid of the sea, why they're scared of the sea, they might answer that they're afraid of sharks. Today is my last boat trip and I'm heading out to the sea to find the ocean's most feared animal. After some sea lion watching and rock watching, it was time to pick up the pace. Because today I'm swimming with sharks. We needed to go far out, to the deepest waters. We arrived to our stop and switched off the engine. The waves were extremely choppy and I usually don't get seasick. And I felt terrible. I was trying to keep a brave face whilst listening to the safety talk, but I honestly couldn't stop puking off the side of the boat. I was delighted to get into the cold water and to get off that boat. And suddenly I was surrounded by some of the most incredible animals. The shark surrounded a bait ball about 10 meters in front of us. Since the current was strong, we had a rope to hold on to, but it was impossible for me to take photos with one hand. So I would let go, drift into the sea and swim back. I thought I'd be scared but my only concern was getting the photos. Oh, and emptying my snorkel of vomit, extra chum, they called it. I was amazed at how calm I felt to be in the deepest waters surrounded by sharks. As we were coming into the harbour, we were followed by the local celebrity. Meet Pancho. Pancho is an adult male sea lion that has worked out an efficient way in finding fish. He jumps onto the back of a boat, takes some selfies, and enjoys a leftover fish or two. There's actually several sea lions that do this, but Pancho is easily recognized by his green head.
You wanted to be here, so you might as well be on video. Say hello. <laughs> Did I overcome my fear? I would say mostly. If you threw me into the sea with a camera, I would definitely still be quite freaked out, but I think I would just get on with it, but I'm not totally comfortable. The underwater world is amazing, and having a fear of it is definitely preventing me from having amazing wildlife experiences and learning about the sea. So I will continue pushing myself in the ocean and trying to overcome my fear. I'm currently in London and I wanted to quickly show you the greeting cards and calendars because they recently have arrived. These are the baby squirrel greeting cards and I'm actually so happy with how they turned out. I've never printed the baby squirrels on greeting cards and I think they are quite nice. The winter greeting cards also came out quite nice. I try to choose quite different photos each year. And of course the main reveal is... My calendar! I think the front cover turned out pretty well and Thank you to everyone who has pre-ordered the calendar. I'm going to be shipping them out in probably a couple of weeks. And also this year I have thank you cards of Baby Moomin. And you could probably frame this. I mean, the quality is pretty nice. But each order will have one of these thank you cards. Your orders honestly allow me to do this full time so thank you. It is Red Squirrel Awareness Week whoop whoop. and I will be sharing a Red Squirrel conservation video this weekend about small island red squirrels. Quite cool but for now thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.